Lesson 11, Global and Local Scope. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new empty console project and add a new file named main.cpp to it. In this lesson, we introduce the notion of scope. Scope can be applied to many things in C++. For now, we will cover the case of scope for variables and give additional background on what we've already covered. In previous lessons, we showed how to output a variable with code like this. If we switch these two lines of code, however, the program doesn't compile. Instead, we get an undeclared identifier error in the first line. This is because the variable that we are trying to output, iNumber, hasn't been declared yet. The variable is declared in the next line. This illustrates the idea of scope. The scope of a variable is defined as the region of code where the variable name is accessible. In this last case, the cout statement was out of the scope of the variable iNumber. Let's look at another program. To understand scope, we introduce the concept of a code block. A code block is a region between a left brace and a right brace. So far, we have seen code blocks associated with if statements, while loops, and the main function. The scope of a variable is defined as starting at the declaration and ending at the right brace of the enclosing block, like this. Variables that are enclosed in a block are called local, since they are localized to that code block. Here the variable iy is localized to the if block. On the other hand, the variable ix is localized in the main block. However, the variable ix can be accessed inside of the if block, since the if block is nested inside of the main block. We can even declare variables outside of the main block like this. This variable declaration isn't contained in any block. Variables which are not in a block are called global variables because they can be accessed from any point after they are declared. Since the scope is not contained in the block, the variable is said to have global scope. It is good practice to localize variables as much as possible. Extensive use of global variables is considered bad coding practice since it tends to create situations like this. Here we have a global and a local variable with the same name. If we run the code, we see that the local variable is outputted to the screen. When multiple variables have the same name, the more localized variable hides the rest. In this case, we can still access the global variable through the use of the scope resolution operator. The scope resolution operator is defined as the double colon. Executing this program, we see that the global variable is outputted. Lastly, we can create code blocks anywhere we like in C++ without an if or while or any other special designation. To do that, we just put in a set of braces like this. In this way, we can localize portions of the code as much as we like. This concludes the lesson.